Let's go ahead and glue all the hardware on. So we have a couple things to put on next. We're going to put the Pixhawk on. Pixhawk cares which way is forward. That's what the zero is for. Right is forward. And we're going to put this radio gear on. This is the, the receiver. Um, what is Pixhawk is for? Is for controller or? Pixhawk is the autopilot. It's got oh, a little uh -huh. or is it? I, mean, I forget what processor is inside of it. There's a mm -hmm. processor, a gyro, accelerometer, and a barometer in oh. it to, to know the orientation and the altitude. Cool. So the Pixhawk's a little special in that it only takes for input uh, from the RC, the radio controller from here. It only takes for input this, this little thingy here. That's it. That takes all of the, the RC input. So the thing is, though, we have like all, we have a bunch of servo wires coming out here. So mm. to make that translation, we have this, this special little board here that takes for input all of these little cables, and has for output one of these little cables. Actually, we're going to plug it into the RC here. It's going to go into this here. So twist it up, keep it nice and tidy. Should be an obsessive compulsive thing that you do every time you get a new set of wires like this. Let's twist it up. So we're going to plug in on this side. Um, there's a special pattern that we need that we might need the tablet back for to figure out how to put these together. Um, it's right th right there. Oh. In the meantime, this in. this RC receiver here is going to receive the, the signals coming from from the little handset. It's manual controller right there. And there's actually two antennas, well, almost three, but two antennas on this thing. One here, and then one here. And we're going to put them on different sides, or different places on the on the vehicle, so that uh, this this box here is going to choose whichever one has the strongest signal, hmm. and, and use that to take the input forward. So it makes it a little more robust. So the thing we need to figure out is, is how to plug one, two, three, four, five, six in, into here. Now, at first guess, I'm, I'm going to assume that one is throttle, so we're going to work our way up this way. Mm -hmm. But we need to know what the pattern is for the RC for, for the RC input. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do this thing here. So one is roll or aileron. One is here, so we need to put this into aileron. And uh, I need to look at this little. These little symbols right here tell you what what each one of these pins are. Signal plus minus. So that little square thing there is signal, plus, and minus. On this coloring of wire, white is signal, red is pl is plus, and black is minus. So, so that means that we got to put all of our wires in like this, with signal on the bottom. So one is aileron. Two goes into pitch. Where's two? Here's Two goes into elevator. Two, three is throttle. Three is throttle. Three is throttle. Four. Four is rudder. is aux. Aux 1. Five. Where did five go? Five is aux 1. Well, it's actually gear in this case. Uh -huh. Gear is aux 1, is what they're thinking about. Aux 
one. This, I'm going to be ox two on this map. But anyway, so we'll just put the rest in. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, that's it. And this one here is, is left over so we can tell the the box here that we want to bind with the, the ground controller. And that's it. So I'll twist this up. Makes it look like a nerve ending, maybe. Great. So this is going to be the RC, RC circuit. Mm -hmm. and the reason why we have a content is because of single failure or just getting it? Yeah, it makes it more robust to, mm -hmm. to, to for example, if something gets in the way of the, the controller. Okay, what else we got to do here? this thing on. This is the telemetry radio. It's going to receive uh, data over 900 megahertz. Uh, we put this over here on the last one. This is the GPS. The GPS goes on a mast to get up and away from the ESCs, because the ESCs emit electromagnetic noise that mess with the compass. So we're just going to use the little sticker here. Stick it down to the mast. Um, Julian, last year it was like... It was so in the GPS there's a magnetometer, like I mentioned earlier, and so it cares about which way is front. So front needs to point front, needs to point front. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. yep, got to glue the heck out of it. And they've had a full and a half of the past 10 years. Yes. But you can tell yeah. them it was tailored to a half anyway, so I can probably like, cut out the full this year. Uh, but you got the 26.2 on the back. Because I ran it last year. Oh, you did the full? Yeah. Okay. So I did the full, I did the full last year. Okay. And this year they cut the full. I know some else is doing it tomorrow. So the exact alignment is not especially important. We're going to calibrate any mm -hmm. orientation differences out when we get the yeah. software out. <laughs> People think hot glue is, is just for crafts, but it's good enough for science. Next thing, we'll have to find a nice place to put this. Where did I put it last time? Put it over by the radio, and we'll just have to spread it out. So we'll probably put this one over here, and this one over here. The battery's going to go down the middle here. It was supposed yeah, to go there. Like it was supposed to go there, huh? Cool. Buzzer needs to go somewhere. Last time we put buzzer over here. This is the little uh, distribution board for the I2C connectors. And we're gonna put this the guy over here in the back. Yeah, Different side, but yeah, really have an opposite of last time. This this thing? No, the oh, no, no. This, yeah. this, yeah, this got to go closer to the to mm -hmm. the GPS this time. That's okay. why it's over there. Um, this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he would prefer it to be closer to the GPS. So this is the switch. The switch is on there. Some, of them are, some of them are hot glued on. That one. That was is hot, glue. hot glued on. Hot glue is your this friend. One? Yes. Yeah, I like hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You can like it. I'm just getting ready. This is the switch, the arming switch. You uh, have to push, push this uh, right when you put put the battery together. Uh, uh, okay. What's that? We have a long wire here and a shorter wire here. This is going to come down the GPS mast. These connectors, these are called DF13 connectors. They're kind of a pain to take out, but there's um, a nice video tutorial on YouTube that shows you how to, to take them out most carefully. It involves using a screwdriver and just prying one side of them out before you try to pull it out with your 
your hands. If you try to pull it out right out of the socket, uh, you have a tendency to rip the wires out of the connectors, and that's a, that's a bad day thing. So you don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, where did the electrical tape go? There it is. Can I get an inch and a half long piece of tape? We'll simply line it down there. I'm just gonna I think that's exactly an inch and a half. I think that one was pretty good. I think, I think that was solid. <laughs> I'll need one more piece. The same size? Yeah. So good, you want another. The one's not as pretty. One of your less, lesser works. Yeah. This one's also, I think, closer to two inches. But it's only because it's stretched out. I see. Something about stress and strain and... The elastic constant isn't pulling it back together. Compliance matrices. <laughs> or stiffness matrix. I prefer compliance. Is that because you were more experimentally based? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the one I remember. Yeah. Rejected. <laughs> <laughs> Told you that one wasn't as pretty. There we go. Direct from the supplier. Thank you. No little man. Oh. Uh, Lewis feels <laughs> left out. you actually ruined that last piece. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm blaming you. That's all right. It's always the guy's fault. It's always the guy's fault. <laughs> Unless he's a fireman and he Unless needs he's Tiffany's <laughs> necklaces. <laughs> I'm sure that guy can't do anything wrong. Cool. Get the ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> he tries to give you a necklace. No. I want the other one. Oh, you better look in there. feel like it was going in right. on camera. <laughs> Alright, lesson learned. Don't push that too hard. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to push it so hard. You want the antenna? Oh yeah, thanks. Because you're used to putting those little connectors, those three connectors in. Yeah. Okay, so this is good. Anything else? So this is going to go here into telemetry one. This buzzer is going to go into buzzer. This is going to go back here into RCN. Each one of these motor servo wires are going to go into main out. GPS, this GPS signal is going to go into this one here. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to connect the, this is the magnetometer cable. It's going to go into here. and. We're going to run the rest of it over into the I2C port, which is where? I2C port. I2C port's right there. Okay, I think we're ready. This is the uh, last step, and then we can go to dinner. <laughs> um, with the exception of the autopilot, everything else goes on with hot glue. The autopilot... The autopilot... It's going to get this... I'm coming back. Yeah. An autopilot gets these foamy thingies on here, these foamy pads, to try and vibration, vibration isolate the autopilot. Remember, it's got an accelerometer and a gyroscope on there, so it's going to be just... Uh, uh, you want co-location, right? Yeah. Controls? Calls? Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Explain to us co-location. Uh, it's when your sensor is not separated from your plant by a spring. Kind of, right? Mm hmm. Why is that important? It's important because otherwise you have these lightly damped modes in your system, and uh, depending on where you put your poles, 
your departure angle from these lightly damped poles, which are close to the J omega axis, might push you into the right half plane. Nice. Is that good? It's good right? for a professor. All right. Don't tell uh, the Professor Kochendorfer's seven-year-old daughter that explanation. Though. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, you'll pass calls. <laughs> well, if I get that question. Yes. Only six billion cool. other possible questions I need to prepare for. Oh, I forgot to take a, a sticky off. Wow, oh, you guys didn't catch me on that one. I blame you, not me. <laughs> as I say and not as I do. Okay, with any luck, this will stay where it is. Hmm. Hmm. This is the young test. This is the young test. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put this thing on next. Hot glue. Hot glue. Hot glue. Star. Everybody's favorite craft item. Jeez. Yes. Um, Rachel, while we're doing this, we need the. We're gonna need the hex pattern again. Can you pull up the hex pattern again? Yeah. I I put your line. So we need to know motors one, the number, numbering of the motor, which I don't remember anymore. No, that's fine. We need to print that stuff out. I to glue this up here. Make a nail that fits into this. 